I'm Joshua Hanlon here at the Museum of Science and Industry in Chicago, and I'm in the new Brick by Brick exhibit with Adam Reed Tucker, and Adam's going to tell us about the International Space Station build here. So, yeah, this is the International Space Station. We wanted to convey that structures are just up bound to the Earth, and um, on a personal level, um, I, I wouldn't say that this is one of my favorite structures because it's overly functional, so there's not too much aesthetic to it. So as an architect and as a designer, it's not one of my favorites, but um, I do appreciate the functionality in the space station. Obviously, anything that's in space is 100% function. There's no form follows function. It's function follows form or, you know, I'm, anyway, the point is, is that um, to me, uh, what I wanted to do is Lego has done a lot of NASA related and space themes and typically um, the space sets have gotten a lot better. They have started using some gold instead of trans blue and so for me um, it was really important that the, uh, the panels all had real gold tiles so, um, so every single one of those there and I don't know what the going rate is on, on BrickLink but uh, those are all gold tiles, and I think I actually stole some of them from the old, if you remember, the virtual lug display at Brickworld for the Wizard of Oz. Oh, yeah, okay. Where I, uh, my portion of Wizard of Oz was, uh, was the uh, Emerald City, and uh, Brian Bonahum donated some of his gold tiles, which, yes, I have, uh, I have given back to Brian, but um, I had to use the rest of them, so I kind of pillaged my Emerald City uh, to finish the uh, space station and uh, yeah I mean there's a little bit of silver in there and uh, the space shuttle that you do see in the back is actually um, a brand new design uh, I think I took one of my favorites because I was running out of time I took one of my favorite shuttles that Lego did which I think was six seven years ago um, it was the one that was mostly all brick built okay so you could probably see by the nose I really didn't change the nose but I got rid of like the moving wheels because they had openings that didn't look good and it wasn't realistic and I kind of just cleaned it up and uh, thought it was good as a backdrop. And uh, yeah, that's it for the space station. That one is super fragile. It looks like, I was going to ask you, like you've got a lot of the trans clear bricks holding it up. <laughs> we actually, the idea for this was um, we wanted it pitched, or at least I did, at 15 degrees in the X and Y dimension. And after we put it on here, um, it was decided not to pitch it because we were afraid that it was going to fall off the uh, but we'll we'll see we might change it we might put it down on the black so you get more of a more of a view and um, but yeah it's it's fun to show people that architecture and engineering is not limited to just earth that it's also obviously uh, in space as well so and with this build in particular, you've got a great backdrop there as well. Did you build that with a backdrop in mind, or did the museum add that once you had the build done? Well, we knew that the scale was going to be about four and a half by four and a half feet, and we thought having a curved backdrop so there's no hard lines, so you kind of feel like you're lost in space, and it, it gives you that forced perspective. So the museum did a great job kind of having a view of Earth, what we all see down here when astronauts are shooting images back, you always see that iconic view of Earth and the halo and then inner space with some of the stars. So hopefully we've, we've created that atmosphere a little bit. So yeah, I think it turned out great. Thank you. Thank you.